afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this session. Um, this might be a, a slightly different slant on what you've heard already, um, because I'm coming from the language side um, and not the consciousness side. But that, that's a part that needs to be explored. So um, I'm going to talk to you about how languages create mind space and the analog eye. And this is based on my research into English. You might think that's rest restrictive, but I'll explain that I don't think it is restrictive and why. Um, and so I'm, what I'm going to do is going to follow this outline, give you a bit of background about the subject and why it's important. I'm going to tell you what a language is, which I think there's a huge paradigm shift necessary here. And what J Jane says implies the paradigm shift. And I'll explain what that means. And then I'll talk about how I think languages create mind space. Then I'll talk about how languages create the analog eye. And finally, I'll just conclude with a summation. Um, I did want to say that um, Bill Rowe was talking earlier about there have been two origins of consciousness. I think that's right. Um, one in infancy and one in antiquity. And I'm talking about the one in, in antiquity. And you might think, well, how can you do that? It's impossible. But my thesis is that basically languages are systems and that if we take them as systems, we can look back into, we can trace back through markers how they grew, basically. And I'll talk more about that. Jane's claims in Origin that consciousness is based on language. It's the first of his four pillars, of his four-part hypothesis. And the first point to make about that, and I made it in a question this morning, I want you to think about uh, not language, but a language or languages. Because it makes no sense to say consciousness is based on language in the abstract. Only the particular language or languages is going to create a system which creates the prism through which you then view the world. It has to be a system. And that, that's it's logical. It's not difficult to understand. So here we have a, a particular language, which I'm just calling a notional language X. Um, and th this is taking place in the time frame that Jaynes talks about, which is the late Pleistocene, I think, between 70,000 BC and 8,000 BC, roughly. So you have the emergence of the, the language. Prior to that point, over here, there's unconsciousness. As the language develops, mind space opens. And at some point further down the line, you get the appearance of the analog eye. And that, that's completely consistent with what Jane says. And I think it's totally supported by consciousness in infancy as well. The fact is that the, the I, or the me first, and then the I, develops out of the other. 